He is the radio voice of the New Orleans Saints. Jim, thanks for joining the Rich Eisen, phone, uh, Rich Eisen Show. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. You bet. So uh, what would you say the state of the Saints is so far this season coming into tonight's game, Jim? Uh, an uneven performance, but with every loss on the road, they've gotten closer. They've lost by three, two, and one point in their uh, three road losses apart from being blown out by the Cowboys. And I think they're uh, primed for their first uh, really good road performance of the season that results in victory here tonight. And despite the up and down choppy start, one win tonight and they're in first place. That is unbelievable when you think about it, Jim. Yeah, it really is. I mean, uh, this was a division that many people thought would be one of the most even and one of the better divisions in the NFL. And now it's by far the laggard of the entire uh, 32 teams. But long way to go. And the Panthers proved last year that you can get on a roll after a slow start. So it would be huge for the Saints to win this tonight and get into the position they expected to be when the season started. And that's at the top of the NFC South. How healthy is Jimmy Graham? He looked a lot better against the Packers. He really was just a, a decoy the week before in Detroit. He was targeted twice, but really reluctantly by Drew Brees when he was just trying to throw the ball away. And the Lions never really bit on that. They didn't do anything special to cover Jimmy Graham because it was pretty obvious from the very beginning that he was only going to be a, um, <clears throat> just an, an illusion rather than a contributor. And last week he played much, much better against the Packers, particularly in the second half. So they'll never assess exactly how close he is to 100%, but he's a whole lot closer than he was two weeks ago. And that Mark Ingram injury, it, it, it appears to have disrupted, or not disrupted, but interrupted, a monster career year for him. He just looks different, Jim. The way he runs, the way he carries himself, he just looks to be more of a beast-type running back, or at least the one that they thought they drafted. That's at least from me watching the games. What about you with the in-person watching this, Jim? Oh, the same. He's looked by far the best that he's ever looked in his Saints career. He missed a couple of games uh, with that broken hand, in fact, three of them, and came back fresh with fresh legs and had the game of his career against the Packers with 172 yards rushing. Um, Roman Harper, his former teammate, said this week that he looks a little bit thinner uh, to him than he did when he was with him here in New Orleans. And Probably that's true. It's a contract year for Mark Ingram, so it's a huge year for him. The Saints uh, refused to to honor his fifth-year commitment. So um, somebody's going to pay him a lot of money next year, whether it's here or elsewhere. But he's looked great. And in the absence of Kyrie Robinson and Pierre Thomas last week, he knew he was going to get by far the lion's share of the carries, and he certainly did. And he was ready to contribute on three downs, which in the past he's never been asked to do. He's always been first down, second down guy. And then they've used a, a Darren Sproles or, or someone else, Traveris Cadet, um, Kyrie Robinson, someone else in a third down capacity. But he showed last week that he can – both carry the ball and, and catch it. So it was a huge game for him, contributed to a wonderful uh, opportunity for the Saints to finally get some balance in their offense. Uh, they're seventh overall in the NFL now rushing and, and second passing it, second overall on offense. And uh, the offensive line's done a terrific job. I think the biggest difference between the Mark Ingram we're seeing now and the one we saw in his first few years with New Orleans is he's got creases through which to run, and he's shown more elusiveness and speed and power than he ever did before because now he's getting to the second level without a lot of company in the backfield. Last question for you. Uh, coming into tonight's game, what do you think is concerning Sean Payton and that coaching staff the most about Carolina? I'd say Cam Newton and uh, the running attack now with D'Angelo Williams back. D'Angelo Williams has had some huge games against the Saints in the past. Uh, it's the first game since the opener. They'll have both Stewart and Williams available to them. So besides Cam Newton, I would say the, the reuniting of that to some double trouble in the running backfield of the Carolina Panthers. Jim, thanks so very much. Appreciate it. My pleasure. You bet. That is Jim Henderson, the longtime radio voice of the New Orleans Saints. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.